the Synopsys Optical Solutions Group is proud to introduce LightTools 2023.03. This latest release focuses on improvements for geometry construction, simulations, and usability. For geometry, you will find new ways to define and convert lens surfaces, set apertures, and holes. For simulations, enhancements for coherent and polarization ray tracing have been improved. In addition, there are new receiver filters available to track diffraction, link with other receivers, and even post-process absorption. On the usability side, you can now define a section view of your components. We have also introduced an improved undo and redo capability and more. Let's look a little deeper at these new features and enhancements. Starting with geometry, conic lens surfaces feature vertex to focus and foci distance to help you describe a desired surface performance and calculate the surface parameters. Conic reflectors are now native commands and work with other Lytos functions without compromising previous macro functionality. Lens surfaces can now be defined as non-uniform rational basis splines, or NURBs for short. The surface data can be imported or exported, but not edited within Lytos. NURBs feature knot vectors associated with control points, and the aperture size can be made smaller than the base surface itself. Due to popular request, the Geometry tab for the lens primitives lets you specify the center thickness and reports other lens properties, such as refractive index and effective focal length. The lens surface shape can now be created as spherical or parabolic by default. In order to support Code 5 interoperability, Lightos can now insert holes into surfaces and elements. Multiple holes can be inserted and work as extrusions normal to the defined surface. Each hole is an element that can have independent optical properties. Furthermore, Lytos 2023.03 now recognizes obscuration type apertures as defined in Code 5. Obscuration apertures are added as an absorption property zone and will also recognize multiple apertures using AND logic. Additionally, Code 5 lenses with encrypted thin film coatings, linear polarizers, and ideal retarders can be interchanged. One major development involving interoperability, this time with CAD geometry in mind, is surface conversion. This feature allows important surface geometry to be converted to a parametrized freeform surface. Lytos 2023.03 will also be able to generate chart results as lid files, which can be opened in the LucidShape family of products for automotive illumination analysis purposes. On the simulation side, Lytos 2023.03 has coherence and polarization improvements. You have more control over polarized sources in this release, and fully polarized sources will work with coherent ray tracing. This release introduces additional ways to specify polarized sources, including three polarization types and an angular dipole apolarization mode for point sources. To assist with coherent simulations, you can now view data from the coherent field in a new tab added for illuminance meshes. This new field data tab becomes available when coherent ray tracing is enabled and displays the magnitude of the phase. The first new addition is the linked receiver filter that enables you to filter ray interactions based on whether another receiver considers a ray or not. Another new receiver filter is the diffraction count filter, which identifies rays that encounter one or more diffraction events. This filter counts each time a ray intersects a grating and leaves the surface with a non-zero diffractive order. The last addition is a post-process absorbing filter which can scale ray data by changing the material absorption with no need to ray trace again. On the usability side, a major new addition to light tools are the section views, which provide up to three movable cut planes into the visualization window to see the internals of a given model. The cut planes can be displaced interactively, reoriented along the global or user coordinate system, can be hidden, and allow non-sequential or simulated rays to be included or excluded. For parametric controls, 
Light Tools now allows you to define pickups based on computed model parameters. For convenient inspection of your parametric controls, parametric items and pickups can now be displayed in the summary table in the parametric control window. Also on the usability side, a new menu-based Undo 2 and Redo 2 feature lets you undo and redo a sequence of actions in a single click. Currently, the list saves up to 20 modeling actions. This capability allows you to easily go back to previous steps and update your actions. Another addition to help you understand how rays propagate through your models are the option to include arrowheads on NS rays. These arrowheads indicate the ray segment direction as well as the polarization ellipse when polarization is enabled. Other additions include SCL licensing, Windows, Dialog, and Feedback Preferences, an HTML-based help system, optical contact and cement tolerances, new example models, glass catalog updates, and new utility localizations. For more, check out the release notes available on SolveNet Plus or on the Light Tools Help Menu Documentation Library. Light Tools 2023.03 enhancements are wide-ranging and aim to make it the most useful and capable illumination design tool available. This release is available now, so if you are an existing user, you can update the latest version today. Or if you would like to try Light Tools, please contact optics at synopsis.com to set up a 30-day trial.